Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vaga Maradian here at the Association of the United States Army's annual meeting and trade show in Washington, D.C. Our coverage here is sponsored by AM General, Elbit Systems of America, General Motors Hydrotech, L3 Technologies, and Leonardo DRS. And we are here at L3 uh, to meet with Kelly Scheidt, who is uh, with L3's um, new space uh, and sensors. Space and sensors business. Uh, I didn't want to mess that up because I knew on my own I, I would. Um, you uh, do business development there, uh, but you're also uh, a sensor and uh, infrared uh, IR uh, systems engineer. But you've got a very, very cool Intel uh, fusion system you guys are working on called Foresight. Talk to us a little bit about the system and how you guys, uh, you know, it's a brand new product, and how you guys are positioning yourselves in the, uh, in the Army market. So the new product being released at AUSA is an open platform processing system. Um, L3 has been producing sensors for the DoD market as well as advanced algorithms. So we came up with a brand new product that can host all these great algorithms that are homegrown with L3 that are being developed by the, the DoD labs as well as small businesses. So the idea is that we connect sensor input or a video with applications and provide advanced intelligence on the output. Uh, the software can be run on anybody's sensors or even L3 sensors. And uh, what are the, is there a particular program you guys are pursuing or are you just trying to shape the battlefield here as the Army consider, you know, each one of the services working on advancing their own multi-domain battle awareness systems. How does that fit into the architectures and, and the thinking that the Army has at the, at the moment? Sure. Um, well, the Army already has assets in the field, but the threat is always changing. So we thought about, well, the Army is not always going to field new equipment to battle the new threats. So we thought of a way to add capability to the equipment they already have. And by better better connecting uh, the assets they have, which is a little bit, uh, uh, General Goldfein, Air Force Chief of Staff, has talked about that, that if I can just better integrate and better connect all the systems that I have in the force, I can be a lot more effective. Um, you guys also have been putting on, you know, you're a leader in unmanned uh, aircraft technology as well, it, whether on the system side of things, but also as a developer yourselves. Uh, but you're also working very heavily, as many of the companies here are, on counter unmanned systems technologies. Talk to us about some of the things you guys are sort of showcasing here at the show, um, along with some very cool other things that uh, nobody's talking about at the moment. Sure, so L3 is a, uh, a bunch of technology developers that excel in developing the technology. In fact, if you go across the other booths with the other companies, you'll notice a lot of times L3 products are in their solutions. So we really make the foundational technology elements that make all these solutions possible. From With the counter UAS mission, we make the detect mechanisms, the ID mechanisms, as well as defeat mechanisms. So L3 really makes all the key components from the, the start to the end of the kill chain. And, and what are some of the key ways when it comes to defeating unmanned systems, right? Because if you, you know, jamming, jamming is one. What, what are some of the multiplicity of ways that you can do this? Because even a hobbyist, you know, even if I go to Costco and I buy one, it can become a weapon, which U.S. forces have experienced, whether you're booby trapping it or using it as an active weapon. But as you move up the scale, um, in the Zapad military exercises, for example, with Russia, Russia demonstrated a lot of unmanned aerial capability that's a little bit more robust, for example. Than the, so talk about it, it's a vast spectrum of threat from the very small to, to the very large. What are some of the different ways and, and, and approaches you guys are looking at to just track, but also to defeat some of these systems? So primarily what's most important is situation awareness, because probably the preferred mechanism to defeat the UAS is conceal and avoid the threat. Once you, if the threat then comes in, then you have a layered defense approach where you can send out a, perhaps a drone cop that has a net to capture the drone, or you can hack the link, or you can jam it, or if it gets in close enough that it's um, avoided those initial defenses, you can engage, engage it with kinetic defeat mechanisms.